Hey New Covenant, so glad to be here with you again for another scene time. We're going to learn the fourth verse of Oh for a Thousand Tongues to Sing. We're going to start with that, and then we'll sing the whole thing through. And then I have two missionaries to tell you about. Remember, we are working towards singing this song on Mission Sunday on March 14th. And I hope y'all checked y'all's mailbox this week because you should have all gotten a letter. If you didn't, please contact me or Barb. Um, you should have all gotten a letter with the song sheet and with the special request for those of y'all who want to be able to participate in a little bit of a recitation we're going to do before we sing. We're going to share some facts about what we've been learning with the whole congregation. So check your mail. Tell your parents to contact me if you want to be able to say something on that morning as well. So right now we're going to do I Go, You Go for the fourth verse. Josephine, Tripp, and Frank are going to help me out. It goes like this. He breaks the power of raining sin. Your turn. He breaks the power of raining sin. Next. He sets the prisoner. Sorry, hold on. He sets the prisoner free. Go. He sets the prisoner free. Jesus, and none of these opportunities would have happened without the Lord ordaining it. 
What an honor to bring the gospel around the world right here in Blacksburg, Virginia. Um, and we're going to show a few pictures he sent. So, the first picture, he's preaching outside. He's the guy way in the back. Like, or in the back of that picture, there's all the backs of the people up, up, up in the front of the picture. Those are all college students, I assume. And, you know, most college students are probably average about 20 years old. That's not that far away from how, uh, from y'all's age. So only, in only 10 years, Tripp's going to be 19. You could be sitting right there listening to someone like Heath, a missionary like Heath, preaching to you while you're at school, and you ha you'll have the choice to be a part of a church like his. Um, the next two pictures he sent in were two groups of students. They look like they're at a camp out or maybe hanging out by a fire pit, and that looks pretty fun. Sometimes it's cold, sometimes it's hot in Virginia. Those, the, the first picture was them bundled up. Um, but you still need to know, what, sorry, but you still just do what the Lord has called you to do. And it might be talking about Jesus while you're cooking s'mores with college kids. That's something a missionary does, cook s'mores with college kids. And then the last two pictures he sent were very silly pictures of his family. I think it's neat to remember that missionaries have families too. I don't know why they were wearing cones on their head in Blacksburg, Virginia, but we need to remember to pray for Heath and all of our missionaries, and we need to pray for their entire families too, that they can have fun times with their kids, like putting cones on their heads, that they can um, be ministering to their kids while they're also ministering to, the, to the, the college kids or whoever else they are actually being missionaries to. So don't forget to pray for missionaries' families. All right, the second missionary that we're going to learn about is Clyde, and, sorry, Dennis and Cindy Morgan. They are missionaries in Vienna, Austria, way far away from Heath in Blacksburg, Virginia. They work at a church called New City Veen, and she sent a video for y'all to listen to. How cool is it that someone from halfway across the world can email me a video, and then Mr. Martin can splice it into this video, and all because of that, y'all are going to get to hear a real live missionary talking to you. And I want you to listen very closely because she says some, she says some very funny sounding words in the middle of this short three minute video. Hello, New Covenant boys and girls. My name is Cindy Morgan. My husband Dennis and I live in Vienna, Austria. That is in Europe, all the way across the Atlantic Ocean from where you live in Virginia Beach. I've been asked to share with you a way that God has helped us to share his message about Jesus. If you think about it, if you have something to share, you want someone to share it with. So one thing we do is we look for ways to make new friends who we can tell about Jesus. So, in Österreich, das Land, wo wir wohnen, die Öffentlichsprache ist Deutsch. Ich spreche zu euch in Deutsch. Aber es gibt auch viele Leute von anderen Ländern in Österreich, die wohnen. Viele Leute möchten Englisch lernen, weil Englisch eine wichtige Sprache ist. Deshalb haben wir eine Englischsprachgruppe gegründet, wo Leute können Englisch lernen und üben. So you might think, my goodness, what was that? I was speaking to you in German. German is the official language of the country of Austria where we live. What I said was, in Austria, the land where we live, the official language is German. I'm speaking to you in German, but there are also many people from other lands in Austria. Many people want to learn English because learn English is a very important language. Therefore, we established or we started an English Sprach group where people could learn and practice English. So, how does this answer the question, how has God helped us to spread his word? Well, because I grew up in America, like you, I grew up speaking English. Here in Austria, many people want to improve their English. So God prepared us by growing us up in the U.S. speaking English, and he also provided a way for us to meet people by forming an English conversation group, which we called English Cafe. We called it that because we met in a cafe and we spoke English. So, we were able to meet many friends from around the world through the English Cafe. Many we've gotten to tell about Jesus, some have visited our church, some have come and been part of home group activities, some we've been able to give Bibles to. We've met other friends through the friends that we've met at English Cafe. So, God is amazing. He uses very simple things like the language I grew up speaking 
um, to open a door, to meet people, to introduce them to Jesus. So that is one way I can see God helping us to share his word. He helped us to see how we could use conversation to meet people and tell them about Jesus. So it's been great chatting with you. I hope you have a wonderful time meeting the missionaries that your church supports and learning about ways that God's working around the world. So thanks again. It was good to see you. Goodbye, boys and girls. So that was uh, Cindy Morgan. We appreciate her sending in that video. We want to be praying for her and her husband. We want to be praying for Heath and his whole family who we saw pictures of. And keep practicing Oh for a Thousand Tongues to Sing. We will see you next week to learn more about missionaries. Keep practicing. Bye.